Hello, beautiful patrons. Thanks for riding with me to Dallas. So here's a problem I have. You might not believe this, but ask anyone who lives with me and they'll tell you this is so. I have a real problem with taking things too seriously. I've taken my entire life too seriously. One of the best messages that I delivered, and I don't mean one single message, but a message I continuously imparted into my congregations and particularly the staff members of our congregations was this. The minister is more important than their ministry. And how that relates to me taking things too seriously, that was a message that I could preach, but I had great difficulty living. My life started off, for those of you that have already read the book, this is old news, but my life started off a little complicated, in some ways a little tragic, and very, very serious. My personality, my biology may have already set me up to be an anxious person and to be a serious person, but the environment certainly did not help. My coping mechanisms that I developed throughout my childhood was to worry, was to be concerned. It was almost as if I felt like I had some sense of control and thus some sense of security if I would hold the weight of all of life's situations within my own mind or heart and worry about them, to not worry about them would be to let go of them, and to let go of them would be, would be to allow them to spin out of control and thus wreak more and more damage throughout our lives. So, the ministry was a fantastic trap for me personally, because the type of ministry that I got into was one that was out to save the world. The entire world was going to hell. There was sickness, there was disease, there was war, there were struggles that could be alleviated, alleviated. There was disease, there was wars, there was death, there was struggle that could be eliminated if I just did my job well enough. And so on top of everything else, on top of my childhood, on top, on top of my personality, there was also a career that embedded within me the necessity to take everything very seriously. Guess what? That made me really, really good at certain things, but made me very, very bad at enjoying life. What I want to tell you today is you have the right to not take everything so seriously. If you're like me and your personality pushes you, forces you, tempts you to take everything to heart and to feel as if the weight of the world is on your shoulders at all times, I'm here to tell you that you have a free pass. That you deserve to enjoy life the same way that all of those morons out there flying by us are enjoying life because they don't care to the extent and in the same way that we care. Somehow the world will continue on. More than anything, it's probably important that we learn how to have a balance. Obviously there are things in our lives that are our responsibilities that we need to take seriously and the only way that they will be handled appropriately is if we do take them seriously. But at the same time, ah, if we miss this moment, we've missed it. Totally missed it with no second chances. So dear patrons, not only am I challenging you to be brave, and to put up with this bouncing video. But I'm also challenging you to be balanced and hold me to it. Don't let me get away with just 
bringing up this idea, but question me, ask me, remind me. I need you to hold me accountable. I truly, truly believe that being balanced is the key. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for being brave and balanced. <laughs>